Turning the touch light every corner. Okay, some people be they hala say they want the power. Chai. Them be promise us say we go get light and power. Nah, nah. Them hustle so they so they they can't get the power. Hmm. But now they know they do anything with the power. Yeah. Every day, dollar, just they get the higher power. Over Naira. See them talk say, make we off mind. But then go say, my ego don't come. So my people make you loud. Oh, yeah, yeah. My ego don't come. Oh, yeah, yeah. My people make we shout. Oh, yeah, yeah. My ego don't come. Oh, yeah, yeah. My ego don't come, man of the masses. Oh, yeah, yeah. They do even no one make person talk. Hmm. Them say that my egun, that man do they talk. He do they talk. Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day, then they tip money in buck. One man picking, they the street, they hawk. Still, them talk, say, make we not talk. But thank God, say, my egun don't come. So my people make you laugh. Like oh, yeah, yeah. My egun don't come. Oh, yeah. Hello there. Good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you're watching from. This is Mayegun Live. Thank you so much for joining me. I miss you too. Share this broadcast. Invite your friends. Invite your not so friendly friends and tell them that uh, my ego today, oh, my ego today. Yeah. Thank you. Ani esuraki. Read the caption of this broadcast, okay? Read it, read the description as well. I mean, share it, like it if you haven't already. Then sit back and relax while we come, uh, you know, one out. I mean, bring them, uh, I'll be bringing them uh, one after the other, okay? However, the news that should have been the rider for this uh, session tonight should have been um, INEC in Nigeria, okay? Uh, as a uh, violated, uh, no, no, that's not, the, that shouldn't be the rider. The rider should have been something like, uh, INEC disobeyed court order. Just uh, 48 hours ago, uh, you were bamboozled with the news that uh, the evidence that INEC in Nigeria was about to destroy, which they believe is uh, hidden in that uh, their beaver's machine, INEC approached court. The court should give them the order to reconfigure the machines. Meanwhile, the politicians and the political parties that participated in the presidential election, right? They approached the court as well, like, no, don't give them that right until we access the content of that beavers. Now, that was the bone of contention in court, but here was the ruling. 
you can go ahead and configure all your machines. But before you do that, right, all of the political uh, parties that are challenging the conduct of the elections, right, they must have access to every material you use, including that your beavers. Once you do that, you can go ahead and configure. Then, a few hours after that, INEC postponed the governorship and state uh, assembly elections. They didn't stop there. You will think, oh, yeah, they were in that time for the parties to uh, check, uh, what do you call it? Check all the materials, right? And that would take time. If not, they will be conducting elections tomorrow, right? No. It is all to buy time. I told you, they will rigmarole you here and there. And some obedient are already becoming impatient. They are beginning to see through the game, the delay tactic, the hide and seek, as well as the other big hands that are not being seen or being felt. They are now asking that, uh, is this what they want to do? Because you know what happened? Hmm? The access to those uh, materials, INEC hasn't granted, I mean, hasn't granted it. Meanwhile, they have already started calling all of their agents across Nigeria, right, to bring back their beavers for reconfiguration. So that should have been the right there, but it doesn't really matter. If you have a time to join us on Mayegu's Diary Political, trust me, it is never going to be uh, a waste of time, except if you are one of their supporters, okay? Even their supporters who spend hours watching Mayegu, right? They still get to sit back and listen like, wow, well, that's a fact or not, you know? Anyway, confession time, confession time. If you want to rig elections, eh, that is the new title they have given to Willie Wiki now. <laughs> yes. I mean, social media. You will never have enough of social media. You know that. Willie Wiki is the governor of River State. As you all know, mm? he is also the leader of uh, the renegade uh, PDP governors, the rebels, five of them. And they were popularly known as uh, G5. So, you see, G5 became so kind of popular mm? at the time when a lot of uh, wahala was going on between the two biggest parties. And surprisingly, eh, the movement called the Obedient Movement, they were gaining momentum with Labour Party. So, anybody who is uh, enemy of my enemy, well, will be my friend. So, the most people who embraced the shenanigans and then uh, uh, all that of the G5 were mostly the obedient. According to the G5, they were fighting a just cause within their own political party that has used abracadabra, political abracadabra to retain the party presidential tickets in the northern Nigeria. Forgetting all of the drama that led to how Atifku became the presidential candidate of PDP. That was gone. It doesn't matter. You know, uh, they are fighting the just cause. It's for the people. I said, no, it's not for you. You might like them, but it's not for you. They are fighting for their political survival. I gave you instances. I said, look at Autumn, the Benway State governor. He is part of the G5 to save his own neck and head, which has already been, you know, sort of, a, 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 there's a bounty on him. This bounty is placed on him, on him by the Fulani Yetiala. They were just waiting for him to leave that immunity as governor, and then they would, they would carry out the fatwa on him. Atifku is comfortable with the Fulanis and what they are doing, and has publicly condemned Autumn many times for publicly uh, blaming Fulani terrorists for the killings in Benue. So for Autumn, Atifku, I mean, Atifku becoming the presidential candidate or the president of Nigeria 
Ego just hand him over to the Bietti Allah. So, yeah, I mean that. Kill him. So, he, he found sanctuary within G5 of Wiki. Wiki, on the other hand, is this guy like, you know, this educated, illiterate son. You know, it's like a, a rich parent. Rich parent, right? Who invested so much on their son, education and all of that. Okay? Right? But he came back as an educated thug. Right? But he has so much money, so much resources, so much inheritance to do whatever he wants. In Nigeria context, though, he could do what Oyibo we call he could do fuck all. So what did he do? He felt like he could be president. Right? And he has to bully his way doing that. I mean, where was Atiku when he, Wirewike, was funding the party to the point that Wirewike was subsidizing government of Shokoto eh, from going bankrupt in expectation of political patronage and loyalty. That's Tambua. Within the southern Nigeria, he removed the party chairman like at will. At a point, he brought Alimodu Sheriff. Maybe some of you have forgotten. Yes, Alimodu Sheriff was brought in to be PDP chairman at a time. Now, with a week, he brought him. When his permutation didn't kind of want to go well, they chased him away, right? He did all of this until he, with a week, also brought in Aju, the same Aju that he found out later is a bosom friend of Atifku. Same way, he found out later that Tambua would rather align with his brother than somebody who bullied all of his own brothers from southern Nigeria from running, running for position of presidency, talking about zoning to southern Nigeria. All this drama... Where a wiki needed a deal. Since Atifku is now the presidential candidate, if Atifku should by mistake become the president, with all his done tantrum here and there, that's going to be a problem. And it is not going to be a political problem. It's going to be like personal problems. And then who is going to be at last? Where a wiki. So, why the obedience were watching the fights, looking for where they were going to pitch their tents. I remember telling all of you, do not raise your hope on these guys because what they are looking for is called political survival, life after office. And then they started, uh, they became free agents who now allowed everyone who wants to be president in Nigeria to bring a deal. Cut the long story short. Eh? We came made a deal with Tifnumbu after weighing all his options according to him. Eh? The only person that can stand up to northern Nigeria in anything they want to do is Tinumbu, not Obi. But he wasn't courageous enough to say it out. Like he was so garrulously everywhere before January 2023. Now, when uh, the time came, Wiriwiki said, of course, we did what we did in this same braggadocio manner. He said, yeah, we did what we did. It was for the sake of southern Nigeria. If we didn't do what we did, the power would have remained in northern Nigeria. And southern Nigeria would never touch that power again. Even though it was the same guy that said, how could anybody contemplate Muslim-Muslim ticket in the Nigeria of today? 
But I told many of you, they might have riled you emotionally about this or that. It is mostly about political survival. Your politicians don't believe in tribe. They don't believe in ethnic. They don't believe in any religion. They don't have any sort of a philosophy. Your political parties have no ideology. It is just all kind of ah, an asylum, a mad place where just do what you can to survive, including your government. Do you understand what I mean? Muslim, Muslim tickets. We are going to, it's a lie. Your politicians, your pastors, the rest of them, and the, you know, they are weighing their options and political survivor, and they have to lay them on you. And that's why I keep telling all of you who are playing the tribal card in Lagos and the rest. When they are done with you, eh, when they get what they want, okay, you realize that uh, they don't give a damn about you, whether you are Yoruba or Igbo or anybody. They only give about uh, they only, they only give a damn about uh, what they can take from you because it's a rent. Uh, Sorry, the rent taking place, rent a seeking place. Do you get that? It's like a mad, mad jungle. I don't want to go into full or into full story, right? But a state governor said, We had to do what we did what we had to do. We did what, what we I mean, we did what uh, uh, we did because we had to do it. And that's why we had to rig it for uh, for Tif Numbu. But that's for the sake of southern Nigeria. Because of the interest of Southern Nigeria, the people and the future of Southern Nigeria. That's why they did what they did. That's why he said, all of us, G5 governors, we agreed that in our states, this is the guy who is trying to act like he's intelligent. So here you get, after the old, you know, confessing to a crime, electoral crime, right? Election crime. In Nigeria, they don't punish them. So I know. I just want you to know that uh, these are the things eh, that are ingredients of why Nigeria is not working and it will never work. You know why? The establishment eh, are comfortable with the way it is. Okay? You are the victims, right? They are comfortable with the status quo. Bring up any fight, they will be up for it. That's exactly what is going on. Right? Election crime committed and then confessed to like well we we agreed that in our states okay it where labor pass where labor party comes first apc will come second where apc comes first labor party will come second you know that's what we agreed to and that's why you have to do what you did in river states change all of the election results Shot and killed uh, electoral officers. Shot and killed uh, opposition party agents. Right? Kidnapped uh, election officers. Bribed some of them that are actually flaunting their gift. They are bribed on social media. Dollars. But according to him, we did all of this to save Southern Nigeria. I'll take you to where he was. Evidence here, okay. Let's take them apart. Uh, you know somewhere in river states uh you know watch this if you didn't do it, you didn't do it. if you don't know it you don't know it may i get three over three you get three over three i'm going to score one another one 18th of march they are working this they, they shifted it they are working they shifted it if they not shift it 20 times who will win I'm not afraid. No, but I want to remind you what is going on. When you have a bad child, education is difficult to change a very, very bad child. What River State has forgotten for years, somebody has gone to reintroduce it. Simply because you think you can use that to win governorship and nature of this state. It's not possible. All of us know in the United States, we have stayed peacefully with the Ebos. We have lived with them. Two days ago, Rotem and Meiji went and brought something that would destroy the state. 
Of course, he knows. The Igbos knows he's telling them lies. How can anybody bring about the issue of abandoned property again in this state now? Something that everybody has forgotten. We are living in peace, in harmony with our brothers and sisters. Because he wants to install Toyoko. Who two of them were prosecuting them for taking 50 million US dollars from our account? We are prosecuting them. They stole our money. And you say you cannot. Now you now call some few Igbo people. I must, I don't even know who will even listen to you, that kind of thing. That you will return back what people have forgotten. And you see how half smart he is. He said he would return it. You were governor for eight years. Not so. He was governor for what? Eight years. Did he do anything about it? Look at no wonder he didn't pass away in university. No wonder. You were governor for eight years. You love the Igbos as you claim. You never talked about this. Now you are bringing somebody said the person will do it. He, he didn't do it. You are too smart, man. Why did you do it yourself? You are not bringing somebody who cannot speak even Calabari. You cannot even dance any Calabari music. They say it from Calabari. You say, Maji, you are half smart. You are not smart. You say he loves the Igbos, but he supported Atiku. He supported Atiku for president. No, so. He refused to support Obi. He didn't know the Igbos then. You are supposed to support them. Look at, look at. No wonder when he graduated from, after 20 years of reading law, he graduated from Bates University. He went to the president. Mr. President, see my project I wrote. I acknowledge you there. Kai. Kai, 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 my brother, project. I will acknowledge the president for my project. I cannot go. This is project. See the project. Kai. No, I don't know when I pass this. I don't understand how people who complex. Complex. Is that the kind of person? You were minister for how many years? What did you do for Igbos? What did you do for Igbos? Supported when he was running for president, for president, he said power should come to the south. No, so when he lost, he doesn't believe in that again. Power should go to the north so that when the north finished, he will beg let them give him. No way, it's not everybody that started the revolution will benefit from it. I did it, I fought it. It doesn't matter whether I become president or not, it doesn't even material. What is material that power has come to the south? It, be, it must not be me. It must not be me. It must not be me. It's a matter of principle. If he frees it from the south, he goes to the north. I won't run again because the north, the south will free for eight years. He goes to the north. I won't. Because that principle of Yendeba, Yendeba. Is what brings peace. It's what brings unity. People should not be selfish in their life. Today, you say one to hear. Gerard, you said the other thing. You call the selfish man is uh, talking about people not so, uh, to be selfish. But that's where the wiki, that is more from where that, uh, where that comes from. However, he kept talking about uh, doing it for the, for the South. Well, there is this uh, part I actually want to chip in. Uh, where, uh, when uh, Kolu was visiting, right? When Kolu visited him, just in between. A quick one. Ah, who does you like this? <laughs> <laughs> ah, he looks like he's just a man now. <laughs> It's out of the respect that I have for you. You 
work hard and you voice loudly your commitment to unity and the critical path to that unity in Nigeria. You never advocated a division of breakup of our country. For us, we are here to campaign on the terrain and philosophy that you brought about when we left office. You came to the South, rallied the governors, and said, please, it's not a fight. It's not a quarrelsome idea. It's not abusive. You just say, please, let power shift to the south. Let's start to rotate. And in making that request, I would not say even demand, you follow the path of democracy, the path that's a constitutional democracy, the path of freedom and ability to speak your mind at any given time. You are a PDP sometimes, I believe. <laughs> I am in APC. <laughs> Regularly up till now. <laughs> but one, then a chameleon will change its color, but leopard will not. Why? Leopard stay with the same color. I am a leopard. A man of same party. Promise keeper. A word of character, a whole world that you can depend on. I don't know about your party. Do you people really want this election to take place or not? Or you have an agenda to truncate this election? I don't know. Look at what is happening on here today. Edo, Delta, see what is going on. I saw the meeting gathering in Port Harcourt. I have to call my CP. What is going on? I, I believe if your party should make sure this election uh, holds. I believe your party, you are in power, ensure that this election holds. Nobody can solve the issue of corruption in two, three months. It's not possible. It is not possible. This thing is purely politically motivated. How can we, you people, be in government? At this time, governor of the central bank is respecting the Supreme Court. Where has it happened in any democracy? I'm not talking about Federal High Court order. I'm not talking about Court of Appeal. I'm talking about Supreme Court said, do not do this. And everybody is folding hands, begging central bank. To obey I want to ask you one question. Are you playing? I be you mean it. Jengo comment session. Tifnubu said it to his face that he, Tifnubu, is a leopard. Why, where a wiki is a chameleon? Sure, you get. But, as usual, he was shouting 
for nothing. Emptiness, all right? Anyway, did you see where he's trying to play Mr. Nice Man to the Igbos in River State? Eh? After massacring them in October, November, December, January, December 2020, January 2021, a repeated attack in uh, August 2021, where a wicked that massacred people declared, uh, what was that again called? It wasn't lockdown, curfew. Locked people in their homes, sent soldiers after them in Obibo. Eh? Uh, Election, the election came. He went there. He rigged them like mad. Attacked them. I him now back and saying, listen, I did all of that because of Southern, Southern interest. Okay? Don't let anybody try to turn you against me. We are, I mean, we are from this state. Okay? Don't let anybody think that, uh, you know, election has come. Just like uh, Sonweku. Is everywhere right now with ice cream, paying condolence visits, and the rest of that. You know, being everywhere right now, or more because election is coming. In a way, I don't know why they're actually worried because it's so mad. Almost all of them are going back. Those ones from northern Nigeria, they are going back to go and beg uh, the non-Muslims. We are so sorry for everything. Whatever was the problem, eh? The election is gone now. Then let us talk together and let us... Re you know what I mean? Like, you could just reek. What is all this drama? Erufai went back to Kaduna and started apologizing to people of Kaduna that, uh, listen, you are very sorry for everything I might have done. Just blame me for everything. Don't blame these new guys, okay? Don't, don't, don't blame it on them. Yeye Belo, the man that could actually, like, uh, barricade the whole constituency to stop them from participating in elections. And he still rigged the election. And he declared his own man eh, that didn't uh, win any election. He declared him winner. But he went back to start appealing to everybody. We are so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. Whatever has happened, okay, let's let's move on. Let's, you know what I mean? Like, you could just rig it. Where the wiki has been sending everybody around as well. Let's forget about everything. Like, including people you killed because of... Uh, you want to rig for Kalu? Are you with me? So that's what brought about that conversation you are listening to earlier. Okay? There's also something that I also want to share with you before we continue that uh, other video, okay? One of the reasons why uh, with a wiki would rather die than allow anybody to stop if Numbu from becoming it didn't just do it in River State, too. There are so many other places that uh, it compromised their elections, too, just to make sure that uh, the numbers are either died down, all right, or inflated in favor of APC, for Kolu, just to balance off what they, what they want to do. Trust me, it would rather die than let uh, either Obio or Atifku or Kolu not to win. Especially Kalu, because he got a good deal. And that was when he said he made this statement, sometimes uh, in late January. Now they watch for YouTube. What they say, they go deal with me when they win. You know, go win now. <laughs> you know, go win. You know, go win. Oh. You never win. Did they say you go deal with some people? God go agree you. No way. God go agree you. No way. If they come, because you want to take power to punish people, what say, look at this way, to punish us, what say, in the bar, in the bar, God go And I dare them, I dare them, let them try. All these your brothers, what they say for Abuja, tell them to remain there, tell them to do what? Remain there. They are our ambassadors, made the media. Yes, yeah, so when we want them back, they come back. But I must tell you, I'm impressed with what we have seen uh, yeah. today. That means Gokana is what? Simplify. Gokana is what? Simplify. Gokana is what? I don't know how many of you actually saw that then, right? So he 
prepared. He wasn't making mouth. He was prepared. And he's so proud of what he's done. And in fact, it was so kind of a, an easy sell to say, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I'm not, I don't hate egos. Okay. Even the people that wanted to make you think I hate egos, right? They themselves, they are not supporting ego. They are not supporting the power to go to uh, Eastern, you know, that stuff, right? And that is his own line of argument. Like, okay, yeah, I did all I did. Yeah, yes, yes. Or well, you know something? Let's put that aside now. Eh? Let's, let's, you know, this time around, let's forget about that now. Think about us because I need to cover my base now. Now, the problem is this. I think the threat he didn't see coming but eventually came, but he was able to, in his mind, contain is the pressure of the obedience. When the numbers started popping up, I think they were so surprised, like, how is that even possible? Labor party, but labor, where? So they quickly reacted. And they were like, you know what? Just start kidnapping all of those uh, electric returning officers. Start kidnapping anyone you can see. Call the ones you can call and tell them to come to this location. Now, if they don't come, they will find them. They are dead. You know what I mean? Like, to ensure that those numbers are never in any way officially collated the way it should be. As for uh, uh, APC, and then the PDP guys who are like supposed to be member of his own party, to working for his, uh, the presidential candidate of their party, he has managed, right, to contain them. You know what he did? He appointed uh, 250,000 people and he gave them the title of personal assistant to the governor on polling unit matter river states so all of the polling units where everybody's going to cast their votes across river states he appointed personal assistants in the name of the states they issued them government letter government appointment uh, letter they were being paid by the government of river states and their job is to ensure that uh, they report if there's any single person trying to vote for Atiku in any polling unit in River State, the entire River State. And they were supposed to pay them for 30 months. So that was how prepared he was. But that wasn't so enough until they actually involved violence and all of that. So those who suffered most, especially the... Uh, Ego populated uh, or ego owned uh, local government areas in river states, Obigo especially. So, what they have been doing right now is that uh, they are now trying, you know, uh, now what you did before now was uh, oh, so Labour Party self, then the threat. Eh? You remember the time I told you about how Nigeria political system is so corrupt? Yeah, that you can't, if you are running away from PDP, APC, eh, and you think you are running to somewhere else, you are not going to escape, escape them. Despite all of that struggle, everything, he started the political party. Hmm? Within his own political party, people that they were doing solely, 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 same time. This establishment, they still found those they could turn. And you know the mess they made of uh, AAC. Eh? So when you see 18 political parties and you see PDP, APC, you see other political parties that you see around, everyone in, in them, I can say this, right? More than 80% of those who are in them as ex coast controllers, everything, including candidates that will stand up for elections. They are members of uh, APC, PDP, indirectly. Mostly, they are just holding base for them, okay, to further deceive some of you who want to participate in their political uh, charade, eh? so that you, they will absorb you. When it is time for you to go for election, they will cut you off. You just see your exco, your kind of presidential, I mean, your governorship candidate, your presidential candidate. They will start stepping down for the people you are trying to defeat, APC, PDP. For those who know the politics very well, right? 
But there's something that is different with the obedience. They are not members of any political party. The only people inheriting their, the positivity of their rage, anger against the system that has done them so bad happens to be the Labour Party. Do you understand? So, normally, by now, eh, you would have been seeing Labour Party ex co Labour Party governorship candidates, Kano, as they come, as step down for the governorship candidate of APC, and they come to APC. Labour Party uh, candidate for uh, Enugu has stepped down. I say, I'm just saying, you know, like by now, you'd have been what ah, hey, the entire ex co the old state ex co they would just whoosh, the camp PDP everybody the camp three days to elections right so with a week after the presidential election yeah and he saw that uh, it actually cost them extra wahala which indeed exposed them because of so many mistakes they made so what it is today that everybody actually agrees that uh, with a week he has bound every goodwill he has in the heart of majority of uh, reverence as we speak. So he's still going to like fight like a wounded, a wounded snake. You get what I mean? So the likes of uh, Willy Wiki hmm, are now returning back to the same Igbos to say, uh, you know what? I am not really against you. It went on to River State. Labour Party that nobody knew before the obedience and then uh, their movements. Suddenly, they have state chairman. They have a uh, state ex co. They have an uh, organ of a uh, party. A eh? bunch of uh, lay about uh, lazy uh, fellows. Eh? And guess what? Immediately, with a wicked call, their chairman, he didn't waste time. The following day, he quickly did a, you know, a statewide broadcast. Uh, all of the uh, Labour Party structure in River States are, are hereby collapsed and we hereby support with the weakest candidates. Uh, with the, you know, guest structure. You know what I mean? That's one thing some of, uh, you know, some of uh, the older generation are not understanding about some of what is going on right now. You will call them names and the rest of that, okay? But uh, they are the structure for Labour Party. That Labour, that obedient movement, right? They are the real structure for it. Without them, there's no Labour Party. Some of them don't know their party chairman or anybody ex school of anywhere. They don't know their word or anybody from anywhere politically. So, those who are parading themselves in the old traditional way, they were able to quickly take their pay from where they wiki and said that uh, we are by adopt. Ah, Chile Imadini. Other political parties have also paid their uh, allegiance to where they wiki. Like, how do you fight him? What do you want to use? Some of them don't know that, uh, you know what I mean, like uh, the obedience that are uh, pledging their loyalty, uh, they are just using the Labour Party as a vehicle. They, don't, they are not loyal to Labour Party with some of you are actually seeing them, right? It didn't take long ago. Within that same few hours after that, they just made another announcement from uh, Abuja that they have dissolved all of the ex of River State Labour Party. So therefore, any deal they made with Wiki is with them, between them and Wiki. They should go out there and tell the obedient that they should vote for with the Wiki's uh, candidates. I think when this whole thing now fell off, I mean, fell apart, that's just when the Wiki started organizing, uh, you know, rallies, mainly to placate the Igbos, to speak to the Riverians and say, I'm so sorry, okay? Yes, we did what we had to do, but I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't, don't take it back on me because if you try to take it back on me, eh, it will be to the benefit of Labour, I mean, to the benefit of uh, APC. As for Labour Party, I'm not scared of them. But if this uh, Amechi, now you know something. 
within Labour Party in River State, where Wiki did something before their presidential election. You know what he did? Eh? A woman who happened to be a sort of a, a labor unionist herself, right? Uh, was the governorship candidate. So when you look at her, you I mean, some of them will just laugh, and this one can never be anything, and this one bow. You know what I mean? Eh? Then the table turned, okay? When the table turned, you know what they did? They now said, there is another uh, governorship candidate about from that woman, another man. Where is that coming from? Eh? Who is this guy? Okay. So, the point there is that uh, they now said, the current uh, Labour Party governorship candidates in River State, eh? that uh, she is being uh, sponsored, financed by Amici. The other one that uh, they brought uh, in the 11th hour is being financed and sponsored by Wede Wiki. Here you get. Now, the confusion back and forth, back and forth, right, got uh, beaten down when the obedient themselves said, oh yeah, you, Labour Party, which name you submitted? Who is our candidate? They said, this woman. That's when they started going after that woman. I said, well, she's uh, the one. I think at that point, right, where the wiki had to go, uh, what do you call it? Go begging. I'll take you back to that uh, venue where he was talking about uh, his role in rigging Kalu in, why they did it, and why the Igbos should not listen to anybody that may want to use that against, uh, they, that may want them to use that against his party. Guess something, right? The governorship candidate of uh, PDP, Sim Fubara, also happened to be the former, uh, sorry, former accountant, I mean, accountant general of River States. Now, here is the story. That Fubara lives in government house. It's not government appointee, okay? He's not a commissioner. He's not elected for anything, okay? He has been living inside the government house, okay, for the past three years. You know why? That is this 480 billion naira missing from the finances and the covers of uh, River State uh, government. Okay? Politically, right? I mean, it's not new. That's what they do. River State is the second richest state in Nigeria after Lagos. 480 billion naira missing but they figure that uh, the accountant general who is lawyer to wiki right is instrumental to falsification of the document to hide that huge money so they declared him wanted right but to cover and if they capture the guy eh it will just be like a pandora you know what the wiki did he relocated him into the government house, you know. DSS, anybody, EFCC, they can't go into the governor, governor's house, have Or such there. It is similar to what uh, Shetima did when uh, the bomber, the terrorist behind Madala Christmas bombing in Abuja, Kabiru Shokoto, eh, escaped from the custody of uh, DSS and they declared him wanted. If you see this man, 1 million naira, 10 million naira. On, <coughs> excuse me, 100 million naira. Meanwhile, Kabiru Shukoto was cooling off inside the government house. They are driving, they inside the Borono State uh, government guest house in Abuja. They are looking for him. Oh. Nigeria is looking for him, but he's living in the capital of Nigeria inside the Borono State government guest house in Abuja. Whenever he wanted to go out, they would drive him in the convoy of the governor. You can't search those. They move about. That's exactly what we Wiki replicated in River State for the past three years. Now, Fubara has been protected. And, you know, you can see convoy of governor moving. You will think it's the governor or somebody so special. You can search them. And it is Fubara under the protection of Wiki Wiki. To cement this for a while, this is one of the reasons why Wiki will make, it will make deal with the devil. It will make deal with just anyone. 
that's going to guarantee that after the tenor, right, nothing is going to happen to him because they have a lot that he could hold, on, uh, hold him with, right? So he decided to throw his weight within the PDP in River State in making Dafubara the governorship candidate. And he is also willing to go to the end of the world in ensuring that the guy is declared the governor elect. And until the day of his swearing in, are you with me? He will be living inside the governor's house and government house in the River State because he is a wanted criminal. He is a wanted money launderer. And I'm not making this whole thing up. You can look them up online too. Come on, go read about it. Okay? Don't sound like, wow, are you sure? Come on, don't be an hypocrite. Huh? Pick up a phone and check what I just said now. So for some reason, I don't know why he's kind of worried. They could do what they did on the 25th of uh, February and then tell you to go to court, can't they? It's not sounding like somebody who, I don't know, well, it's no longer amusing. It's not like the wiki that is so funny and loved that anymore. It is just the unraveled with the wiki. And some of you, the obedient, you do know better now, right? Eh? That uh, not always the enemy of my enemy is not always my, it's not always your friend. In fact, the enemy of your enemy, if you look very well, eh? They may both be enemies too. Instead of uh, befriending either of them, eh, I will advise you to pick race. Learn from this. Let's go back to where he was ranting. You're not telling them oh, that we can stop scholarship because he both were benefiting. I mean, I've never seen how wicked a young boy can be. How do I? When we came on board, we look at the exchange rate. You some people who are reading philosophy, accountancy, English, to go to overseas, to spend our heart and uh, I said no, come here, come back. Come here. But specialized courses, I said we can afford that. But not general courses, philosophy, religion, English, law, you send them there. Look at the exchange rate today, seven hundred to, to a dollar. How can I? How can anybody survive it? How can anybody survive it? I had Senator Magnus. He was talking to the Christian Association of that can. People are talking that they are their own children are in private schools. Ask Magnus, which of the public schools his own children attended? Ask him. You know, I've been quiet. I didn't want to talk about it, but he was pushing me out. He wanted me to come and talk. <laughs> and I thank God extended this election. I will talk now. <laughs> you preach what you cannot practice. Tell the public which schools your children went to. You have been a public officer since 1999. Mention one public school here to your win. Mention university here now. He just come. He said, oh, when you come, you will still do pilgrimage. Uh, uh, what is that? What is pilgrimage? I want to challenge any public officer today who has supported the Christendom than, than me. I want to challenge any politician here now, not before, now, currently, currently, that supported the Christian than me, all over this, this country. When the Agrican University was to be built, this state gave 800 million naira. Catholic University, this state gave 500 million naira. That means you know, any diocese, any church that this government did not support. Whether Pentecostal, whether Anglican, whether Catholic, name it or Baptist, name anywhere. We have supported it. I owe no apologies. I was the only governor 
who declared that this state is a Christian state. I want nobody in apology. I got no society today. I, I will say it. Nobody. Some people are talking about betrayal of who? Who is that? Who is that politician that is a Christian that will come and look me and look into my eyes and tell me that rubbish? Nobody can talk to me that way. They know. I never campaigned against OB. I never did that. It's not like that would he do anything. What do you go to me? He can't do anything. But I felt I, he has no need. Since we are talking about Southern uh, residency. I never. Within us and our integrity group, we agreed that we must make sure power comes to the South. And in any state where you have control, if Labour Party confess, APC must come second. If APC confess, Labour must come uh, second. And we did it. I'm proud to say it. I'm proud to say it. Look at this uh, reverse people in Abuja. Shame. They now enter in the night and leave 5 a.m. But look at us. Happily commissioning projects, happily flagging up projects. They were plotting how they will kill themselves, how they will send themselves to jail. Half an hour. Half an hour. Now, I will still send all of them to jail very soon. So, anywhere you are, be happy. Be proud of yourself, you're a reverse man and woman. We stood firm and we continue to stand firm. It doesn't matter what anybody will say. I will never. <laughs> That's where the week is. Some, uh, some stray uh, dogs have found their ways into the gathering on YouTube. Normally, eh? There are times that I will just tell you, right? Just ignore them. And there are times I'm going to tell you, call my attention to them. But one thing I want you to observe when uh, stray dogs uh, stray into our midst, you can easily identify them. Put it this way. We are talking about uh, the actions of the politicians in Nigeria. What they have done or what they failed to do and then what they are doing, that's what we are talking about. Ask yourselves, what could make anybody so angry eh, hearing that? Have you ever asked yourselves? Like, we are talking about the politicians and what they have done to Nigeria and what they are doing as well. And somebody is so angry and he started abusing you, attacking you, calling you this or that. What do you think would have prompted that i'll tell you i'll help you hmm? number one they are either direct or indirect or expectant beneficiary of that rotten system do you understand like why would anybody even abuse my ego have you ever asked yourself that because the people I speak about, they have the generational ombud slaves that love their oppressors differently. It is that bad. Yeah, it's that bad. But as you see them reacting that way, you'll be wondering, I mean, wh why are you like that? Guy, what happened? Because I just don't like the fact that he's abusing our leader. Do you get that? They are leaders. Eh? I told you. It's not because 
something is wrong with what we have said or what we are doing, but it makes them so uncomfortable that they had to pick up their devices and defend the rogues that destroyed them. Do you, do you not get it now? So when you see them, when they're straight like that, please call my attention. I can take care of them. And they will never disturb you again. Okay? And, yeah. Mm? So, where are we Who is on the last lap of his uh, political battle, as we can call it, he has secured uh, the first one, which is to ensure that uh, if everything else fails, the uh, Tifnumbusi legitimate uh, government should fulfill his promise since he's a leopard and with a wiki excuse me with a wiki is a chameleon so when we wiki met with his uh, in-house team he called a meeting of igbos can you call me the igbos i want to have a meeting with them all oh, because of this election too mm -hmm. take a look village that will take more than four five hour drive from jigawa from Duse, the capital you want to see? You know what he told you? Okay? He didn't tell that, look, he came late, I have chosen somebody. He said, no, that the, the, it is the North that will produce the president. And that was how we left. So what is he going to say this time now? You better be an amendment that it is the North. And I asked him. I let it be. And that was what I saw at the convention there. Uh, that's okay, no problem. But we still maintain that look. If you have taken the president, can be, you can't take the chairman again. Give us back the chairman. And I still stand by that. And if you don't do that, whatever you see, you take. Some of us are hated because we speak out our mind. And I have no apologies to anybody. Before the election, we the integrity group met in Abuja and we took a decision. We support the APC governors who came out boldly to say power will shift to the south for the unity of this country. And we also agreed we must vote for the south, no vote for any uh, Natalia. We, we agreed so. Our contributions. Nobody knew. If you check the pattern, we agreed. The South must come first, second in any state. That was not, and check all the voting patterns. If Labour won't say APC will take second. If APC won't say Labour will take a second. That was our position. All my campaigns, nobody can say he had me. I abuse OB. I didn't, I didn't do that. My campaign was against people of impunity who disobey the constitution by saying that there should not be zoning. When there's a provision in our party that there must be zoning of elective and appointing offices. How many of your children came out to say so? How many? I came out, I spoke about it, I stand by it. I have no apologies to anybody. Wrote me a message, met with some people yesterday. I said, he told him that, oh, you understand how he was lost after civil war, abandoned property. Something that we have forgotten. We are living together, doing business uh, together. Because of governorship election, you want to go and open an old. Uh, no, nah, I'm okay. You were governor for eight years. What did you do? You were governor for eight years. You didn't know about an abandoned property. Now you have left. You are not calling the Igbos. Look, we are going to do this for you. You, you, you won't be governor again. Another person will be governor. Then you, you said they would do this, but you couldn't do it. You love the Igbos, you refuse to support Obi. You support Atiku. When Obi came here, I gave him all the, the logistics. I provided vehicle, everything. The, I paid for the stadium. I did. But some other person applied and I refused. So, if we should not be by now, 
It's not to uh, carry the more room or room or room, okay, 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 okay. Anybody who doesn't have a child is okay. Anybody who doesn't have a contract is okay. Everything is okay. So it's good you came. So you know this is where I stand. I'm not, look, I have no problem who voted for uh, OP, who voted for us. Well, I have no problem. I can tell you that. My problem is that person who voted that power should not uh, shift. That's where I stand. Okay, we, we like to know the impression you're going away with as you come to see the governor and he has addressed you. All right, uh, you know, just like with, uh, the speaker said, that it was a fact finding mission. And we've been able to get the fact that the governor did not fight for, did not fight against him. He, the governor made us understand that he was fighting for his southern president. And that was it. He's not against who voted Obi or against who voted any other party. So we've been able to find out this. And also we want to let our people, the Igbos, know that we are not at war with River State government. And we are not at war with the governor. That every Igbo person should go back and think. And even the governorship candidate of PDP, same, has a relation in Igbo land. So we should go back and ensure that we we'll support PDP in this forthcoming election. That's our stand. You get the message? Do you get it? Uh, you get it. If you don't get it, then forget about it. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. That's the cocoa. The governor has told us that he didn't do any of this because it's against Igbo. He did it for the sake of southern Nigeria. So all of us should go back and support. Even the candidate of PDP, he has a relationship with Igbos. I told you, they don't believe in all of these things, but a lot of you kind of you have so much emotion that are attached to some of these things that they could leverage on and steal from you. But did you get what they are playing that there? Okay, let's leave them um, out of it. Uh, after the whole drama with the weakest message to his lieutenants, our next mission. The second phase of the war we are going after the election, we have to recover our party that Buccaneers have hijacked, vampires have hijacked. We must recover it. That is the second phase of the war we are going to. So everybody should be prepared. After the governorship election, we must take back our party. We must take back our party. We will not allow these Buccaneers to continue destroying our party. We are proud of what we have done in River State. We are proud we say we wanted a Southern president. And we stood by it. And we thank Nigerians. Well, I thank APC governors who came up boldly to say, look, power should uh, shift. Power should shift for the unity of this country, for the betterment of this country. For me, anybody in the South, I find you're a South and that's what I stand. After the South finishes, it goes back to the North. Let it be established that there must always be power shift. And that's the same thing we are doing in the state here. There's nobody at the national level of the party you should listen to. None of them worth listening to. None of them. Not one. Are you came to steal? And he has stolen enough. That's why he can go now. He's building a university with uh, our resources. So now he has studied it. Okay, let him go. Let us build back our part. The second. That's going to be their next stage after the elections to his lieutenant. But when he said that a G5 made a deal, I think 